Good morning, stampers. It's Elizabeth from StampScrapAndMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada, and it's a coffee kind of day. I'm geared up. I have, let me just show you, a whole bunch of videos to do on all of these projects. And I think I counted and there were 25 to do. So if you're not a subscriber of mine, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm going to start into it by saying, look what came in the mail. I, I know I can't see now because I've taken my glasses off, so everything's a blur. But if you watched the last video and my quest for glasses that fall off my nose because they're the plastic, I got these from Amazon. And they work like a charm, except for I will admit they're kind of pain to take off and on because they get stuck in my hair and in masks when you're wearing them. So, but I'm hoping that these do the trick. So far, so good. Um, what else am I going to tell you? Oh, the movie of the day is, it's not an oldie, but it's one of my go-tos. It's called Leap Year. I'm really sorry, folks. It, it's gotten like 20 Rotten Tomatoes or whatever, but uh, it features Ireland and my lust for travel. And I just love everything about it. So that's the movie of, that's on playing right now. And let's get started, and I hope to inspire you. Okay, so this is the stamp set on the horizon. We've got uh, Thinking of You, Thanks for Everything, Relax and Enjoy Your Day, Breathe, Wishing You So Much Happiness. We've got some grass, a barn board, trees, and a flock of birds. We have coordinating dies, and today we're going to be using the barn board, breathe, relax and enjoy your day. And from the dies, we are going to use the barn board. That's, at least that's what I'm calling it. And we're going to be using the trees here. Oh, and also using the small circle, small circle from the tasteful label dies um, and the small circle. I'm going to start off by saying that this was a sketch challenge from a an event, a paid for event that I participated in a few weekends back. If you are ever stuck for creativity, inspiration, I've said this before, uh, hold on to cards that you've made or that you've received that you love and they're a source of inspiration. Or you can just Google card, card sketch challenges and you will get lots of uh, images coming up. And this is what is called the sketch challenge. So this is the layout and you recreate the card using what you have. So um, this was the card sketch challenge that I participated in. And I'll show you the card. I'm gonna change it up a little bit um, to change the designer series paper and the barn board. But this is was my outcome. So you can see it looks like the card sketch, but I've changed it up to my, to my liking. So we're going to create recreate this card almost identical, just changing up some of the colors. First off, I want to tell you that the card base is Misty Moonlight right here. Now, if you are not familiar, Misty Moonlight is a 2020 to 2022 in color. So the Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight will be retiring folks at the end of April. These are in colors. The new catalog will come into effect on May 1st and these colors will be going. The reason why I'm telling you this now, if I realized I do not have the reinker for Misty Moonlight. I went to reink my stamp pad. I don't own it. So I am putting it in order today to get what I'm missing of the in colors. So if you like to hold on to your in colors and you do not have the reinkers as a minimum, I suggest you pick up the reinkers for each of those because as soon as the retiring list will be, will be announced, these will sell out. We know they're retiring, so don't wait until the list is announced because we know that they're retiring. Okay, that's the end of my sales speech, but I want to make sure every every year I tell my customers that and I don't want them to be surprised and get caught off guard because if you can't get can't get the reinker your stamp pad's no use anymore once it dries out. Alrighty, so let's get started. 
I've got all my cut pieces. This is what I did yesterday. I took all the cards that I wanted to do tutorials on, cut all the pieces, packaged them all up, wrote the instructions uh, and or the measurements, not the measurements, the uh, product used and wrote them all down. So I have no excuse but not to create these cards. So let's start off with the base of the card is standard five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And this is Misty Moonlight. We have two pieces of basic white that are both five and a quarter by four. One is for the inside of the card and this one is for the outside of the card. I'm switching it up just a little bit and I have embossed this in the, <clears throat> excuse me, time, war time worn type 3D embossing folder. And that's gonna go on the outside. I wanted to just give a little bit extra dimension uh, to, or interest to the card. Then I took a piece of the designer series paper from On the Horizon and I cut off, cut out, just want to make sure I have them uh, right, I uh, don't think they're right, and that they're in the right orientation. There we go. So there's three pieces of designer series paper. So each one is four and a half by three quarters. And so I did cut out one, cut out the next one, cut out the next one. And then when I put them, lay them all down, I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap. The horizon line is all on the same. So it's from the same same piece of paper, but each one is one and three quarters by four and a half. So technically it would have been, let me just do the math. You know, numbers are not my thing, two and a quarter. Okay, so it, it's one, two and a quarter piece cut into three quarter inches three quarters of an inch. And then um, I took the back part of this. So that's, this is the, this is the front and this is the back. And so this is the back part of this. And this is three and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. I already die cut out the little scallop from the tasteful label dies. I have already die cut out the trees in soft succulent and this time instead of doing uh, the barn board with the gold embossing powder on crumb cake I wanted it a little bit brighter I, I found that kind of dark so I'm going to do something a little bit different I'm going to do it on the fresh fresh freesia I say that and and smile at the same time fresh freesia that's really hard Okay, so I'm gonna get out the barn board. Oh, and I'm gonna emboss it in silver. I thought that would look really pretty. The silver embossing folder, embossing powder on the fresh freesia. Uh, let me just make sure I get a block large enough. There we go. My really, 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 really dirty blocks. And I think my really dirty stamps as well. Oh, good. I was stamping yesterday, so my uh, chamois is still is still wet. Some people ask how to clean your chamois. I'm going to tell you, it's, I just rinse it underneath. Uh, I my craft room's on the second floor. I just rinse it underneath in the bathroom, or rinse it all out and put it back in the case. There's there's little holes in this case, actually not holes, cracks, and it g gives airflow. So there's I never have any mold. Some people have complained about mold on their on their chamois, I've never had mold, but I have little holes in the in the case. So sometimes I have to, um, every other day, rinse it up again. Okay, so I'm taking the Versamark and I'm just going to stamp on the fresh freesia. And now I'm going to bring out the silver embossing powder. And I'm going to emboss this. I know wood grain is not purple and silver, but you know, I'm going for sort of an art, artistic effect. <laughs> How does that sound? And I'm just gonna heat emboss it. Oops, my heat gun is stuck. All right. I haven't used my heat gun for a bit, so it might take a, a few seconds to warm up and start melting everything. This is really like watching paint dry when somebody's embossing.
everybody has their own way of embossing. Sometimes I go from the back to warm up the bottom part. And now you'll see it's starting to really melt. I don't know. See, oh, you can see it on the, on the camera there. The trick to embossing is to not hold the gun in one spot because you can burn the paper. I like to hold it at an angle. Like I said, everybody has their own um, method of doing it. So that is what it looks like. I don't know what this card's going to look like in the end. Like I said, I've changed it up from what the original card I did. So um, it will be a surprise to all of us. And I'm just going to lay this on here. I don't, I should have put some washi tape because my mini stamp and cut and emboss plates are kind of warped. But I'm going to wing it without any washi tape. There we go. Oops, got a shard from the last card I did. It's going to have a different, <clears throat> a different look to it, that's for sure. Okay, now let's get this baby together. On the inside, we are going to put relax, uh, it, relax uh, and enjoy your day. I think sometimes if you pick a block that is too large for your stamp, you get some, you might get some rocking. So if, find a block that is fits your stamp and you'll have less chance of rocking. And like I said, this needed to be re-inked, so I'm, I'm, oh, that's not bad. <clears throat> Relax and enjoy your day. And you know, while I'm out, while I've got the ink out, I am going to do the breathe. I love the breathe. I, I love that sentiment. And just the font of it, it's just so, so simple, so clean. And I'm going to stamp that on the little circle. There we go. And if you don't have the tasteful label dies, don't worry about it. You could sim easily cut a little piece off uh, of, oh, here I got a piece in the garbage here, of basic white, like this. Stamp it. And then instead of doing that, just put breathe down at the end. So you can easily do that. So don't fret if you don't have exactly what I'm showing you. Use what you have. The whole goal is to get you guys stamping using what you do have and take the stress out of creativity because we're not here to stre stress you guys out. That, that defeats the purpose. I know it's it's not a medical claim and I shouldn't be saying this, but I do find st stamping and especially coloring, but I, even as a kid, I loved coloring and I still love to color. I find it so relaxing. And now I'm going to insert, uh, adhere this to the top. There is a definite up on this, really hard to see, but some of the words you can make out and just make sure you're putting it right side up. Now, if there is a stamp set that you would like me to play with, please leave it in the comment section and I would be more than happy to create some cards using it if I have it and even if I don't have it I might pick it up and create and create cards for you so don't hesitate to leave me a comment with the stamp set you'd like me to play with okay so now if you know if I was doing this right I would have layered these on first but in my quest to get the card done there we go Because I've cut them out and all in one, it's from one sheet, there's de a definite match. And I'm going to maybe make my life easier and use Tombow glue. Now I had a Tombow glue out yesterday and I lost a die. I, I did a Facebook Live yesterday and that card will, those, uh, actually it was three cards, will be showcased. I'll be doing 
a YouTube video on those three cards, but it was a Facebook Live on my VIP page. And I used my Tom, primed my Tombow glue, and now I put it away, and I don't know where it is. And then I cleaned up my desk, and I'm missing a die from the Rainbow of Happiness, I think it is. So I'm missing a die, and I cleaned up my desk. Do you think I can find the die? Went through the garbage, went through the drawers. It will show up eventually because I did find a die. <laughs> I did find a die that fell out, fell out of one of the drawers, the hanging file folders, for another stamp set, uh, another die set. And i got to figure out which one it's from. I think it's from the Hey Chick. Look, at you'd think I'm drinking. I'm Honestly, it's only coffee that's in there, because I am not straight. But That's what makes, makes it a hand-created card. Not a hand-crafted hand created. I know. No, it's like homemade. I don't like it. Homemade. I don't like it. Hand, handmade. I like, but homemade. I don't know. I don't know what there's just something about that term homemade. I'm, I'm not a fan of. Okay. Now I'm going to put this there like that. And then this is kind of going to go like that. I know it's, not sure if I'm a fan of the of the fresh freesia with the silver. I thought the silver would really go pretty with this, but now I'm rethinking my decisions. But you know, you tell me what you think. And this is going to get popped up like that. And you know, it's going to have the flowers, or not the flowers, the trees on it. So it might get a little hidden a little bit and take down some of the obvious pinkish purple tone. Like that, oh, maybe, maybe not. And now because I like to pop things up, this is gonna get popped up like that. And I need my wee in, my little, my little dimensions, my wee -ins. Oh, look, look guys, you're in time for the happy dance. <laughs> The happy dance. I'm coming to an end. Okay. Everybody get up and dance. I'm going to use up all the pieces left on this sheet. This is a good day. This is what makes me happy, folks. It is sad. Sad but true. I try to use up all the little pieces as before I start a new um, a new sheet, but it doesn't always happen, right? Because you need a bigger bigger dimensionals, or you need a lot more. So when I can, I've got a few of the unused, partially used, almost completed. Maybe that's the term I should be using. Sheets, and it's very I'm very happy when I can get rid of them all these little pieces and there's a little tree and I'm at the very end I'm going to put a, dim a little dimensional on it too because I don't want those okay yay empty sheet empty sheet I don't want those to um, those little trees to get stuck on anything and I'm going to use a little the little sheet of dimensionals People think Elizabeth so fiddly, but it makes the difference when all the trees are adhered down and they're not going to get stuck going in and out of the envelope, all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, I need one more. I used to have a customer. I was telling I was telling uh, somebody this the other day. Uh, oh, I was telling uh, Ellen. So Ellen, if you're listening, you've heard this story. So I used to have a customer that uh, she made she did great work she did awesome work and it was she would come to a club every every month and and any any of the club members will remember this and she, and she said to us once she goes oh i just uh repositional tape adhesive is the best she said because you know if you don't put your uh if you don't put your cardstock down in the right spot she goes you can you lift it up and you can reposition it and i said to her Yes, but it also means it's not going to stick to your card long term. 
And I said, you know, when your recipient gets the card, it's going to fall apart. And she goes, oh, I don't care. She goes, once I've made it and put the envelope, I don't care what it looks like. And I was like, oh, my Lord. <laughs> so if, if any of uh, my customers that were club members are, li are watching, you'll know, you'll know who I'm talking about. And I was just sort of floored by it. Anyhow, she didn't care what the card looked like once it was done. Done and in the envelope. She goes, I did my job. It's done and in the envelope. And then I'm just going to put the breathe and I'm going to pop it up like that. And you know, I'm, did I put two layers? I did. So on this one, because this is popped up and this is popped up and I want this, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on here, but on here, I need to put two layers of dimensionals so that it matches with this level because this is popped up once, twice. Breathe. And I'm going to put dimensional down there. And then another dimensional on top of it, like that. So there's two dimensionals. Oops. I thought I took the backing off of it. Oh, I didn't take the backing off the other, the other one. Okay, let me get a new one. They should stick to each other. There we go. And now I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow glue so that it's adhered to the top. Like that. So it's stuck on the bottom and it's stuck on the top. I'm looking at it before you guys see it. So what do you think? So that is the this was the original. Um, this one actually is, it, um, it's up a little bit higher only because I, this designer series paper, the horizon was up higher than it was on this designer series paper. It's pretty. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. What do you think with the purples? Yeah, I do like it. I do like it. It's a little different. It's a little more feminine, a little softer that breathe it has that airiness about it and then relax and enjoy your day so that is the card hi if there is an obvious disconnect between what you just watched and this it is because i when i was playing the video back i did not like the card and i'm going to show you why i didn't like the card and you probably picked up on it because for me when i watched the video back i went oh no no you're not i'm not happy with that and i rarely will edit my videos. I will add in text overlays if there's something glaringly uh, miscommunicated by me. I will put in over text overlay to correct it, but I don't go back in and, and edit videos. However, this time I am re-recording the end of the video and I'm going to try and figure how to splice the beginning of the video with the end of the video because I didn't like the card. And why I didn't like the card is because when I played it back and I was showing you the card, all I saw were white dimensionals behind the trees. Could not handle it. So if I'm not happy, I, I'm not, I don't like the, the card, right? So I want to fix it. So now I'm going to show you how I fixed it and I'm going to share, walk you through how I fixed it. And I've done this before and I don't know why I didn't do it this time. Um, I guess my mind, I, I'm only on my first cup of coffee. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I did. So here is the card. I have taken the scissors and underneath the trees, I just snipped underneath, removed all of the adhesive and I had to re-stamp uh, the breathe because I, I cracked it. There was a, a bend in here and I re-die cut out the trees because I ended up, when I was taking the adhesive off the back, I ended up ripping a couple of the small trees. So I have put dimensionals on the back again. Wasn't as heavy handed with the dimensionals as I was in the original. But what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take my blends and I'm going to take the brush end and this is the light soft succulent. And I am going to color in the edges of the dimensionals. This is especially on small pieces. It just the dimensionals just blend in to the die cut image that much better. Now we do have black dimensionals, but I think yeah, you, I might have gotten away with using black dimensionals and it wouldn't have been at all, as obvious, but because it's a soft succulent is a, not a bright color, but a lighter color. 
I decided to do this route. And like I said, I've done this before and I've actually suggested doing it before to um, as a tip. But for some reason this time, my mind just got away from me and it wasn't until I watched the video back that I went, oh, that's awful, Elizabeth. You, you can't be proud of that work. And, the, you know, I like to be proud of the work I do. And who knows, this might uh, inspire you to, to look at your cards and if you don't like them because of the dimensionals, you can see the dimensionals, you just color them with the blends. Okay. So now I'm going to take all the backings off. So all I did was on the sides of the, of the dimensionals, I just colored them with the same as the designers, as the cardstock. And that way it, it blends in. Some of the some of the backings had fallen off already. Oops, and some hadn't. So it's filled. There we go. Okay. Now my real chore today is gonna is <laughs> is gonna try and figure out how to how to um, splice the two images the two videos together into one. But I wanted to make sure you guys were aware that I had had re-recorded the ending of it. So when you're watching it, you're not going to go, what happened there? Because I know I've seen videos before when it, where it's obviously been spliced or sliced or whatever. And um, you think, oh, what, what happened there? Okay. And a little bit of Tombow glue up here. And then when I bring the card up to you and I'm going to show you, I'm going to rotate it sort of back and forth and you'll be able to see how you can't see the dimensionals like you could on the first card. Oh yeah, blends right in folks, see? I'm good. So, so you can't see, uh, not as bad, but you can see a little bit of, of white there, but it's not as bad as it was before. There we go. So that's that's the card again. See, if you go back and you scroll back like a minute and you'll see the difference. Uh, all you could see were the whites of the dimensionals. Did not like that. So thanks for your patience today. And um, I hope I inspired you and maybe showed you a new trick. Thanks for checking in. Um, take care. Happy stamping. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.